The umbrella breath is one of the body's best self-healing mechanisms. This kind of breath uses your diaphragm and it has a truly magical effect on strengthening your core and pelvic floor and effectively flattening your tummy muscles. It's the first step we're going to take in the Mummy Tummy Transformation Programme. What's really important to note is that we're going to connect the breath with lifting the pelvic floor and connecting to our tummy. So let's get started. I'd like you to place your hands on your rib cage here and this is where we're going to focus the breath. You're going to take a deep breath in and relax the shoulders and the chest through the nose and really expand your rib cage. So you want to feel your rib cage coming out three dimensionally. Exhale and open the mouth and wring all the air out of your lungs here in your rib cage. Breathe in through the nose and you can close your eyes if you want to. Exhale. Breathing in. Exhale. So you're really working on three-dimensional breathing. Imagine as you breathe in that you're putting an umbrella up. As you exhale through the mouth, the umbrella is coming down. So breathing in, filling the ribs and the lungs with air. As you exhale, purse the mouth. And imagine you're breathing out through a straw. Steaming up the windows. Breathing in. Exhale, open the mouth. Purse the lips. Breathing out through a straw. And you'll really feel your pelvic floor lift as you open the mouth and breathe out, pursing those lips. It'll have much more of a dramatic effect. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill the lungs with air. As you exhale, lift up the pelvic floor and draw back the belly button. And it's really important here that you relax your bottom muscles and that you don't create any movement at the pelvis. So you want to avoid movement here at the pelvis. You're sitting really tall on your sit bones and you're breathing in through the nose and then breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out through the mouth, pursing the lips. Breathing in. Exhale. Breathing out through the pursed lips. Breathing in. Breathing out through pursed lips. Exhale. With the umbrella breathing, you want to take all the air into your lungs and ribs because the lungs can actually take about two gallons worth of oxygen. And the more oxygen you get into your lungs, the more energy you have. So take another deep breath in. And this time I want you to just relax the tummy muscles and relax the pelvic floor. And then as you exhale, open the mouth, lift the pelvic floor up as if you're pulling a tissue out of a box very gently and draw the belly button back. So breathe in into the ribs, exhale, lift the pelvic floor up and draw the belly button back. Breathe in, exhale, lifting the pelvic floor, drawing the belly button back, breathing in. And then exhale, really squeeze the air out of the lungs, lift the pelvic floor up, draw the belly button back. Now it's really important on this kind of breath that you don't belly breathe. Belly breathe is when you're really pushing the belly button out or the abdomen out when you're breathing and lifting up the rib cage. Lifting up the rib cage means that you're just putting all the muscles out of place and, and misaligning your muscles. So you want to make sure that when you're breathing, you're breathing sideways and three dimensionally into the lungs as if you're putting that umbrella up rather than lifting the ribs, okay, and then sort of arching the back. That would be incorrect. Or either pushing the belly right out. So avoid rib thrusting and avoid belly pushing on the breath. It's deep diaphragmatic breathing and your diaphragm is right here, your pelvic floor is the base, and imagine your midsection, your trunk, is like a can or a canister with the diaphragm sitting on top and the pelvic floor underneath, and then the contents and your pelvic organs all in the middle here, and then your transverse abdominus wraps around the entire section here. Okay, so that's our purpose, and with the deep diaphragmatic umbrella breathing, we want to boost your energy, which it does, and we want to improve your immune system, which it does as well, and we just want to connect to these muscles of the, the deep, 
deepest innermost muscle and the pelvic floor. Now you can also practice this umbrella breathing lying on your back as well. So keeping our knees bent and our feet flat to the floor, we lie down onto our back, taking our hands onto our rib cage, relaxing the shoulders into the floor. Take a deep breath in through the nose and fill three dimensionally that rib cage and those lungs with air. Exhale, open the mouth, that's really important. Imagine you're breathing out through a straw, pursing the lips. And allow the rib cage to really sink, getting all the air out. Breathing in. Expanding the rib cage. Exhale. Now this time breathe in. As you exhale, lift up the pelvic floor just softly and let the belly button sink. Breathing in. Exhale, lift up the pelvic floor, draw and let the belly button sink down. Breathing in. Really three-dimensionally expanding the rib cage sideways. Exhale. Allowing your belly button to come down. So you're drawing that down, getting some tension and lifting up the pelvic floor. One more time, breathing in. Exhale, lifting up the pelvic floor, drawing down the belly button. And relax. And then we can also try this lying on our side. So if you just come onto your side and just rest down on your arm, taking your hand behind the back of your head and then place your hands again on your rib cage here. Because remembering we're really focusing the breath into the rib cage and the diaphragm and also the side effects of strengthening the core. So you're using your deep innermost transverse abdominus muscle. So you'll take a deep breath in. And this is a particularly um, safe position if you've had a C-section as well. And you exhale, allowing that rib cage to sink. So breathing in. Remember, you're expanding sideways. Exhale, open the mouth, allowing the rib cage to sink. Breathing in. Rib cage really expanding sideways. Exhale, through the mouth. Now, with the muscles, we're going to breathe in. You want to lift the pelvic floor up as you exhale and draw the belly button back to your spine. Breathing in. Exhale. and relax. So remember that you want to really focus the breath on expanding sideways, using the diaphragm, the muscles right here, that's your breathing muscle, but also incorporating the pelvic floor along with the deep muscle as well, and getting all those mus muscles and all those systems connecting and breathing correctly. And you want to practice that for just a couple of minutes a day.